Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, we'll be discussing what are the what is the salary of a healthcare professional in Qatar uh, and other benefits uh, related to remuneration uh, in Qatar. So let's get started into the vlog for today. So those who are visiting my channel first time, um, I would like to mention that um, I am working in Australia at the moment from last more than two years and I work in Qatar for more than eight and a half years. So my channel is all about giving information of overseas opportunities and what's the experience to work in uh, other countries uh, if you're someone who are looking for uh, touch for the information i think your search ends at my channel uh, so let's get started uh, when i got my offer letter back in 2013 uh, from qatar and at the same time i also got government job offer letter in my state so uh, so when uh, when i discussed that with our neighbors our you know people to whom I, people who knows me, they were telling that Qatar is not really very good country to go. Uh, it's a country um, governed by the religious laws and that may not be appropriate country for you to go. And why you are leaving government job, which is, you know, permanent, which is, which has, you know, it's, there are many people in government section and they are government sector and they are having good life. So why you are going for something which is not permanent? Uh, which is not substantial uh, and you are leaving your government job so um i that that kind of suggestions were very tricky and that made me confused um so i did not stop there actually i started to research more on uh, what which hospital i'm going in uh, you know what's the history of that i searched on that and then i have very two close friends um, when i was doing a masters uh, one of my close friend uh, has worked in Ames, Delhi, all in Institute of Medical Sciences, Delhi. She studied her bachelor's there. She studied um, and then she got a job there. And because she wanna upgrade her education, so she resigned from government job and she was doing masters in the college where I was studying. So we, we studied masters together. So she's a very close friend. And because she's from Ames, she's doing her, during her masters, she was a studious student. Uh, so I asked her, uh, what is her suggestion? So she clearly told me that, Ashish, if you join government, then it's like you're going back, you're going backward uh, fashion. Uh, and if you're taking this opportunity to go to Qatar, I think that will help you to, that will boost your professional growth. Professional growth. Uh, so that made my confusion, clear my confusion. Uh, I have another, I have, I have another friend at the time who she was working in uh, Dubai. She is also my master's batchmate. So I asked her, so she told that Ashish, uh, she is from Kerala, so she told her, Ashish, I am earning in lakhs, and why you wanna join a job which will earn you, and which will help you to just make money in thousands? So why are not thinking about lakhs? So that's really enlightened me. What what you were, you know, her thought process. Uh, she was right, actually. You know, she was earning in lakhs. Uh, we are in the same age group. Uh, we have same qualification. Um, though uh, I was working in India, and I have a plan to join. Um, government sector in India, so which will be giving me only thousands of salary, uh, and lakhs will be only, you know, after one or two decades uh, of service. So, so that that suggestion really helped me to understand. And then she, uh, I also contact with other friends, uh, who was who were working in the Gulf countries, and they gave me a, a person's contact who was working in the hospital where I have, um, I will be working if I land in Qatar. So and then I call, I able. I was able to contact that person and discuss with him and he told that uh, you know this job, this hospital is one of the best hospital in the asia and if you want to work there um, if you're getting opportunity to work there you should not miss because there are many people are waiting to get this job waiting for this opportunity and they're not getting and if you're getting this and don't miss it so it will be it will be a big mistake of your life if you miss that and uh, miss this opportunity so that really set my that clear my confusion and then i i decided to go then i discussed with my parents uh, and my wife and uh, we all decided that okay is is the decision that we should be looking for this is something different uh, and we no no one in my family has done that before so uh, so let's not follow what has been followed previously because i am from the i'm the from the street where most of the people look for government job and government job is like heaven uh, in in the in, in the state from where i belong when i landed in qatar um, the whatever i thought about you know whatever i heard back home about the country which will be very strict laws uh, you will not able to go outside you will be just allowed to go out for the duties and so on 
but it was not the same the country is qatar is very much open uh, there is a freedom to follow your own faith and uh, there are churches there are temples so there is no compulsion you know nothing like that uh, whatever i heard was really was completely wrong um and also the qatar government really respect other culture they respect uh, others religion and that's why uh, they have multi national uh, society there they have people from all over the world working for qatar so it was it was what i heard was not wrong so i from that you know from this discussion the major takeaway is that i don't just uh, don't just you know uh, trust uh, what people are telling just do your own search get some feedback from your close friends uh, and also some people who are working in the uh, in the country where you are landing so you will get some first hand experience from them and then you take a decision whether to go or not to go so um so that's all about uh, landing in qatar so now come to the first point that is salary and benefit so uh, as i mentioned in my previous blog uh, if those who are not uh, watch that so i will put the link in the description box so i mentioned that my basic salary was around 1 lakh 20000 so back in 2013 uh, the conversion rate of um, qatar real to indian rupees i think it was around 12 to 13 rupees um in back in 2013 so my salary was around 6486 real basic salary and then 1250 was transport allowance so that was the basic salary before i landed in qatar like this was a document been shown to me and um and this was my basic salary but when i land there uh, the salary obviously increased and i will explain in 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 a, in a minute about that so so my salary was around 1 lakh 20000 to 1 lakh 35000 around that range exact figure it was like back in 2013 so uh, and then uh, and when i when i went there uh, the facilities were awesome because the flat they were given me was very luxurious uh, i never thought of this kind of accommodation i will be getting uh, the furniture uh, and the um, the location uh, the construction you know the you know the everything was very top notch there uh and it was you know and they also gave us i think around 3000 riyals to buy the uh, they have provided already blankets and you know think pillows and bed sheet everything they provided and top of that uh, they also gave us around 3000 riyals to buy um, bed sheet and pillows so what i'm trying to say here is that they gave a lot of money in the beginning itself um and we have been taken care of by the government of qatar we felt that we are we are privileged people uh because we are working for the country and um uh, and there is nothing you know in the first 3 days they provided us a food uh from hospital not from hospital from the canteen uh from the we have hospital canteen so the food the food was free there uh and just we had just had to go and pick it and we have transportation from the hospital to pick us um to pick to the canteen and bring it back because the initial 2 3 days we just had to sign some paper work complete to complete and then medic medic um medical examination so it was like first 3 days there was no work but uh no work. we were not going to the hospital but we were just getting the hr processing and med- pre medical medical check up again so we had done one medical check up back home but of, even after landing there we just had to do the physical examination uh of the only check for color blindness um and that's all that that all contains uh and so everything has been taken care from the first day itself and our salary was starting from the day we catch the flight actually so if someone is catching flight on particular day even at night 11 o'clock so for that whole day they'll get the pay so uh, it's not like when you join there or when you work in the ward uh, from that day the salary will start no it's not like that the salary will start from the day you land you you are land, you're catching the flight from india or from your own respective country so that's the system for salary and then um, there is there are frequent salary increments there so we had jci there joint commission international accreditation so whenever we used to pass uh, jci accreditation so government of qatar used to give us a bonus back in 2013 14 that kind that you know around 78 before 8 8 years before uh, and so the bonus was around half of your basic so that was really good actually if you do well you'll get money so that was and then there are number of opportunities to do over time uh, if even if it is not in your renewed you can go and do in emergency department at that time okay and now i'm i'm not sure what's happening now um, but that that time it was really very uh, opportunities over there to uh, to make money as you want so it's up to you whether whether you want to do over time or not to do 
Um, but now I, I'm, I'm not, not sure whether the system has still like that or some change. But um, and then before I, I as I mentioned in the last block, 2015 I got some promotion. So again, my the salary was increased. And by the time I resigned from there, my salary was increased around three times. The other benefit is uh, family tickets to back to your uh, back to your town from where you have been hired. So like I, my nearest airport was Mumbai. So I was getting yearly annual tickets uh, of my for my whole family members. So that was additional benefit to get the flight tickets and. Uh, uh, apart from that, there were again holidays during the Eid, so 10, 10 days holidays during two Eids. Uh, and at last, uh, when you resign or when you retire from the hospital, you will get the end of service uh, benefit. And that is, uh, you know, what is your last basic? Uh, multiply by number of years you work. So if somebody work more than five years, they will get 100% of your uh, last salary. Uh, multiply by number of years. So somebody who work six years and his basic is around you know 20,000 just for example so he will get 1 lakh 20,000 uh, end of service benefit if somebody work five years so he'll get 1 lakh uh, real end of service uh, benefit so if somebody work for 15 years you know, for those uh, the last figure to multiply is 10 years so uh, so if somebody work for 15 years the five the whatever last basic multiply when only 10 will be uh, that amount will be given as a end of service so the last digit to multiply is 10. So if you work for more than 10 years, uh, that will not be counted. Only the, uh, your basic current basic will be, count, uh, will be calculated and multiplied by 10 and that will be given to you. So that's the end of service reward uh, from Qatar government. So for that, you did not to contribute from your pocket. Everything comes from Qatar government. So in back in India or um, other countries, the system is like that. You have to contribute from your pay. And certain amount of money government will put it into and then at the end of service you will get half of that and then half will be given as a pension to you so that's this system doesn't uh, it's not there in Qatar so they will give you for entire money uh, from government only so that's really good actually and that helped me a lot when I migrated to Australia so I will talk about that more in detail in another blog so that's about salary so about leave, uh, there were 40 annual leave per year if you are uh, if you are coming from South Asian countries. So leave are different for people who are coming from Western countries and coming from developing countries. So for, for me, there were 40 annual leave uh, to go back to the country from where I came. Uh, and also top of that, there were sick leave. There were I think 10 sick leave you can take. Uh, so that's about the leave and if you want to don't want to take uh, there, was, there was an option that you can encash leave and get paid for that so there's option for that as well at that time but recently see I'm here from 2021 so what change has been happened after 2021 I'm not really very sure so this is all about uh, Qatar in the next vlog uh, I will be discussing about the professional development opportunities uh, and also the workforce there uh, and also the surroundings I will include in tomorrow's vlog. So be stay tuned uh, and if you like the content, please do hit the like button uh, and subscribe my channel.